Alright, so they have a bunch of different places where you can find stuff. Um, this is where they have all kind of uh, noodles. Um, and this is all like Chinese food, Korean Chinese food. Okay, that's uh, a lot of Chinese food, so... It actually looks like Japanese, but they actually have oh, a lot of free water. Free water. Here, let's take one real quick. Free, free water. <laughs> um, makgeolli soju. Makgeolli soju. Makgeolli soju. Makgeolli soju. My friend asked me if I want some Korean rice wine. I have a, a ton of different type of beer you can just grab. Uh, oh, it's sort of Korean. Unengui. Unengui, what's that? Unengui, what's that? Unengui? Yeah. Uneng, what's that? Unengui, what's that? So, unengui is a special type of uh, Korean um, fruit, sort of, that grows on, on Korean trees. You can actually pick these up in the street. Uh, my friend is carrying some kind of a device that actually charges them or something uh, with his number. And Italian, it says Italian, so Italian stuff. Um, this is like the, uh, what do you call it? Sort of like a steak, uh, tapanyaki, sort of like. Huh? Okonomiyaki. Boya? Okonomiyaki. Oh, okay. So he checks our number and he's gonna make us one of these Okonomiyaki. So there's a ton of different type of food you can go ahead and pick up, but you gotta go walk around and order. And then this is called Tigimya, which is uh, basically means uh, anything that's fried. Because I think it's frying some, some stuff. Okay. free water and uh, a bunch of um, whole glasses here and then uh, we got all the different types of Korean makgeolli actually it's not too bad oh okay okay Okay. 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 Alright, this is where you're supposed to put the drinks that you want. And blue chocolate. So we're gonna get some Sprite because my friend Jake doesn't drink alcohol. Or his body refuses. Some Bombay Sapphire. Jaeger Sapphire. He said Jugiji, which means uh, killing. Killing. Ah, this is one of the green words. And he's gonna charge us for. Uh, Stuff. And he's gonna get more free water. So when the food's ready, it's gonna actually uh, vibrate, and we're gonna have to go pick up the food. So we got some drinks here, and we're, we're waiting. This is all the stuff we ordered, and then it's basically gonna ring. My job is to pick up some ice. It's called the Koda Chaya. Uh, anyway, it's in Hongdae, so definitely check it out. So we're gonna wait till this thing vibrates, and uh, let's actually look at this gadget here. Uh, it's made by ReTechKorea.com. So it's like a Korean company that only makes this. Um, so you can order everything with this. And We'll also be able to know when they're done. Um, some interesting stuff. And my friend is actually mixing the Korean rice wine the way you're supposed. 
All right, so the thing vibrated and we picked up our fried uh, stuff. Actually, it looks really good. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this over here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and wait for more food. So if the number calls up, you, you find the LED that has the number. So you eat it and tell me what, what it is. Okay? Tikim. What kind of tikim? So I asked him, eat it and tell me what kind of uh, fried thing it is. What? Oh, so guya. So I gotta go find a guya, which, which means, uh, which means, uh, well, we'll have to match the letters here. I'm gonna go ahead and find it. And, uh, that's not it. This is a sushi. Find it. And this is where the fry stuff, tigimya, it says guya. You can't read Korean, just match the, 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 what it looks like there. And no, that's not it either. Um, that's not it, that's Italia. So this is it. So it matches. It looks like that, right? So that's it. And have the pick it up there. All right. And this is it. And this is what we ordered. Yeah. Yeah. So we got it. This is the Korean uh, unhang uh, food, and we got it. So we're gonna have to keep getting more food. And now it's on standby again, so it looks really delicious. And uh, I have to go find it where we're sitting. Um, but this is one of my favorites. Uh, it's uh, one of the Korean fruits that you, you can fry it or you know, heat it up. It's really good. It's great for with beer or any type of alcohol. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get out of people's way here. And uh, here we go. <laughs> All right. Who else? Winning. Winning means actually bank, but also means. Huh? So my friend is gonna go order some food. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and try this while they're going. All right. What does Unang taste like? It tastes like um. Hmm. I don't know how to say it. It's sort of somewhere between uh, beans and some kind of um, nuts. But this is a. Uh, you know, this is the fruit that actually, you know, only available during the fall. Definitely try it. But these things fall on the streets. You can actually pick them up and cook it at home if you live here. It smells nasty, but once you cook it, it doesn't smell that. And the smell goes away and that's really good. All right, now we have another food, so we're gonna go on another trip. We're gonna have to match it.
not sure what this is, but it looks <laughs> really good. And so we're gonna definitely go try it. So basically, I'm acting as like a uh, waiter for my friends here. It's, it's a lot of exercise just eating at this place, but it's definitely worth it. They have some really good food. So definitely check it out for your home day. Um, you know. Yeah, he's saying whoever didn't go, didn't go. He didn't go yet, so you have to go. No, I didn't. I didn't. 